Good morning, Jonesies. What's up, y'all? What's going on this early morning? I'm getting ready for work. Thank God I don't have to be there too long today. Whew. I need a break. But anyway, um, but I saw my schedule for next week. It's looking kind of good. It looked, you know, they're giving me some days off and it's, it's good because I don't know what's going to be going on in my life next week. I just live week to week, child, because I don't know what, what is going to go on. But, um, why y'all didn't tell me that pink, Victoria's Secret, Victoria's Secret pink, have these two awesome fragrances. This one is called Wild Berry, no, Wild and Breezy. And this one's called Fresh and Clean. This one is my favorite of all. This one is my favorite. You know what I'm saying? I gotta spray some on. Child. Spray. Spray under my dress. You know, on them thighs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I get that from my mother. My mother used to spray it everywhere. And her, her, her favorite areas was the inner thighs, like, don't ask me why, maybe, well, maybe she was uh, expecting a little surprise on these things, I don't know what she was doing, but, and, you know, since I've been watching her since a kid, spray perfume, wherever she sprayed perfume, that's what I would spray perfume, or whatever, so, yeah, so that was that, um, I'm, I might come back when I get off of work, I'm thinking about doing a flashback Friday, and, um, you know, talk about my favorite, you know, like shows from back in the days and music from the 80s and 90s. You know, make it fun. I want to do that. I want to talk about that. Um, also, I used to have a blog talk radio a couple of years ago. I used to have a blog talk radio. And it was really good. You know, it, it started out a hit because I had a, a nice following. It started out really good. But what ended it all for me was. You know, um, it was called Mixing It Up with Phone Jones and Friends. And I had, like, different people. You know, it was, like, a couple of us on the line talking and talking about different views and different conversations and all kind of stuff. It was really good. But one night, I was doing a interview. I was just talking about having a conversation about something. I can't, I can't remember what the topic was. And all of a sudden, some guy called in. And he just sounded like... When you have a blog talk radio, some of them people that call in like, like to play tricks. And I don't like... Once that happened to me, I was done with it. I'm like, I'm not going to keep doing this. Well, this guy, this idiot, called into the radio station. Act like he was committing suicide and all this kind of stuff. And had this whole big scene going on. And my chat box was going off, was off the meter. Say, did he kill himself? I guess he had a stage to where all his friends were coming... They would, like, just blow up my chat line. Just, like, you know, did he kill himself? He did, he that, he that. You heard gunshots. You heard the ambulance and everything. It's like, you know what? What's going on? So, after I figured out that it was a scam, it was like a sham or whatever, I said, you know what? I might do, I just stopped doing it. I just stopped doing it altogether because I don't got time for foolishness. I mean, really? Are you that dumb or that stupid that you want to like just the stage a scene of somebody killing themselves suicide is nothing to play around with first of all and then for you to do this on a blog talk radio how you know what kind of person are you so i was like you know what I'm, my husband was like just forget about it because we you know we did it together after a while and i'm like i'm not doing this no more so i i stopped with that and, you know, I just been just chilling. I used to have a business where I used to make, um, like, my first, before I moved to Florida in New York, I had, like, a little online business. And I used to make um, natural scented body butters. I made my biggest, let me tell you what my biggest um, hit on my website was. My biggest hit was my mango body butter. That used to, every time I got orders of that, it, it got to the point, some people would order cases of it because they like that fragrance particularly. And the way I made it and the, the ingredients that I put into it, it was, everything was natural. All natural. I paid top dollar for different oils. Who is this on my damn door? Hold on. 
I'm back. Sorry for the short pause, but uh, that's my landlord's son. Child, they just want to destroy this house even more. I don't even care what they do to it, to be honest with you, because I'm just, I'm just over it. I'm just over this place. It's a, it's a, a hot walking mess. I just can't. I, I just, I'm just tired. I'm tired of dealing with it. But anyway, back out. That's what I was saying. What was I saying before I left? <sighs> I hate when I get interrupted. But anyway, I was doing the flashback Fridays and stuff. Um, I want to do that. Um, oh, I was talking about my business that I used to have. Well, yeah, I used to make, um, you know, um, mango butter, right? The, the, the fragrance was mango, but it was made out of shea butter. And I used to buy all these oils, and it did a good job. I, I mean, I, it ran its course. It was, um, I did pretty well. But when I moved to Florida, it's like keeping that stuff from melting, and it was just too much. So I had stopped for a little while. I still do it every now and then upon request. If somebody requests a gift basket, I will do it. If somebody requests just a, like a case of mango butter, I will do that. I'll do it upon request. So, yeah, your girl phone Jones been into a lot of stuff. Um, I went to Bath and Body Works yesterday. And you know what? I don't know what it is. I mean, I like that cozy fragrance. But this new collection is not really doing anything for me. Um, it's not pulling, it's not drawing my attention, if that makes any sense. And I am a fragrance fanatic. And y'all know, if y'all go back to the video called My Collection, you will see my collection. Um, it's just not pulling, you know what I'm saying? The candles are expensive as hell. And it's like, okay, you buy the candle and sometimes you, you will get a throw, but it's a faint throw. Or you won't get a throw. Well, I spent $27 on a candle, and I'm not guaranteed to get that powerful scent that I'm looking for. So, I don't know what's going on with Bath & Body Works, but I'm, I'm, I'm more in love with the um, hand soaps and hand sanitizers now. A few fragrances from before, it's okay. You know, my regulars, I got those there. But this new collection, it's not really doing anything for me. And I got some coupons where I can get free items or whatever, so I'm gonna, I'll do that and test them out. And also, well, they get really, they get very slick with um, not having a travel size in the new collection, and I don't like that. With the frosted orchard and all this other mess, they don't have travel size. You got to buy the full size. Um, okay, well, I'm definitely gonna try to get my 25 percent off, my 20 percent off, my free this, because I'm not trying to spend that. I'm just not trying to do it. Um, for those of you guys that I have your um, address and stuff, um, I send out cards every year. You know, I do. I, I send out Christmas cards because you never know what somebody is going through in their life. And, well, I just say holiday cards. Um, you might get one from, from me for Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas, New Year's, or just because I send. I love to send cards. That's what I do. And sometimes, once one year, I sent out a total of 25 cards, I think it was. And I didn't get not one card back and only one person responded back to me. So it was okay because you know what? That was my giving. I gave, I sent the cards out. At the time, maybe it helped them get through it, what they was going through. But it was fine because I was not looking for anything in return. When I do a friend mail, I don't look for anything in return. If you want to surprise me with something, that's on you. Hey, whatever. I'll take it. Thank you very much. But I don't look for anything in return because my mother always taught me, when it's better to give than to receive. When you give, you're going to automatically get things back when you're supposed to get it back. So, I always live by that. So, you know, I didn't want to, I'm not going to take up too much of your time because I ain't got that kind of time to take up. I got to go to work and handle this, just, just handle this mess. Work. So, um, I guess I will see y'all later. Um... I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, did y'all see Scandal? I know it was a young lady on here who I was talking to about Scandal last night. Girl, if you saw Scandal last night and how to get away with murder, my anxiety level was up to the roof. It was just too much. Olivia and, and, and what's his name? Fitz. Cyrus is back, honey. Cyrus is back. Back in the White House. Miss Nora is gone. Um, Who else? How to get away with murder, child. It is a dang on circus ring with that. It, it, it's it's good, but it's 
Oh, Lord have mercy. It's crazy. Oh, one other thing before, before I let y'all go. On Sunday. No, as a matter of fact, I had to work Monday, I think it was. No, Wednesday. It was Wednesday night. I had to work. I had to close the store with my other co-worker. At the end of the night, this, this pregnant girl came into our shop in our store. And she said she wanted to do a return, but she did a return with cash. And she was waiting for her mom to email her the receipt. Because we do look at the emails, the, the receipt emails. Okay, fine. No problem. She's pregnant. She's about, I'm going to say seven, pushing eight months pregnant. Girl, boys and girls, Jonesies. She's, she, I, I handle her transaction. Okay, I handle her transaction. But what got me was when I was done with her, she was still looking around the store. And I was watching her, but I also had to do some other things. So as I was moving towards the back of the store, and my other coworker was going towards the front of the store, because we was getting ready to close when she left, I don't know where she put it, but this chick took some clothes along with her. She snatched out some clothes my thing is this why are you even shoplifting and you're pregnant i don't get this i don't get what you're doing i don't i don't understand that you just exchange some clothes if you don't have the money for it you having a baby put it on the what do you call the register list they will give you gift cards at your baby shower i just don't get it i just don't get it i just don't get it it pissed me off because i'm like this chick, are you for real? Because she pissed me off because she's out there shoplifting and she's pregnant. Anything could happen to her. What if we had security that just just, just would have grabbed her up? You know what I'm saying? Just because you're pregnant, it does not exempt you to do wrong. I'm sorry. You shouldn't be doing that. And then you got some that come in our store and shoplift with their kids. And their kids be saying, be trying to distract us. Oh no, boo. We're not going to have that. They don't like it when I'm there because I'm like up close and personal. Do you want a shopping bag? Do you need something? I'm I'm all if, up in your mix. I'm 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 dusting around you. I'm folding and I'm watching. And because it's just why, why do you have to steal? Why? Then two nights at before that, this guy came in the store. Hmm. Honey, he got two different baby mamas. One came on a Monday. The other one came in the store on a Tuesday. And he was buying. I said, look at this. I said, Lord. And he recognized my face. He was like, mm, I, was, I ain't say. I looked at him like I was like, I ain't say nothing. Because what you do on your time is none of my business. I'm just a sales associate, boo. I'm just a cashier. But I peep girls and boys. I be peeping some madness. Child. Mm. But anyway. That's what I want to leave y'all with. I'm going to talk to y'all later when I get off work. So y'all have a great and blessed day. Don't let nobody stress you. Live, laugh, and love, and all the above. And I will see you later. Bye.